Hey guys, thanks for stopping back and visiting my channel. This is Samantha, and today I'm going to be showing you how I make my little candy bag keychains. There's a lot of different ways to make these. This is not my original idea. I got this idea by watching tons and tons of YouTube videos, and I haven't seen anyone make one quite the way I do. Um, I also haven't ever seen anyone make them with water inside. And I also haven't seen anyone make them with like this kind of lava lamp effect, which is really cool. So I'm not going to show you the water ones today. Today we're just going to focus on this kind um, because I think it's a little bit easier. And yeah, you are going to need vinyl for this. Um, I am using an eight gauge vinyl, I believe. And so with vinyl, um, the gauge tells you how thick it is and for this I wouldn't go much past like a 10 gauge when you start to get to the really high gauges it's going to be more difficult to seal it and I wouldn't go much under like a 6 gauge because when you start to get you know it's, and even that's kind of iffy um, when you start to get to the lower gauges it the material isn't thick enough so it kind of just falls apart so I would say somewhere between like a 6 and eight is ideal. Um, I prefer eight gauge. You may prefer a different gauge, but you can pick this up uh, fairly inexpensively if, um, you know, you just depending on where you get it and how much you get. I got mine from Hobby Lobby in the remnant department. They also sell it on Amazon and I will have an Amazon affiliate link down in the description to some that I have just recently ordered. This piece is about three and a half inches tall by five inches wide. It's kind of hard to see um, when you're working with a piece of clear plastic. So I've, I'm trying to use this um, just way to facilitate the visual scene. So I have my piece of vinyl. I'm using iCraft quarter inch super tape and I believe yep, it's made by Thermoweb. This stuff is great. I like to use this because it's very, very strong and it's also completely clear. You can see it a little bit, but not a whole lot. What I'm going to do is put it on right on the edge of one of the short sides. And then I'm going to get my scissors and trim that off. I'm going to get my bone folder out and I'm going to burnish it. And what burnishing does is it makes the, the adhesive, like it presses the adhesive into your material, which helps it to um, grip better and have a better um, stick. Then what I'm going to do, and this part is actually pretty important, is you want to wipe this inside off because it can get dust and fingerprints and be kind of ugly looking. So just you know, wipe it off. We are going to, let's see, flip it this way. Remove the backing paper from the tape. Just like that. And kind of touched it over here, so I'm just going to wipe it. Then I'm going to flip it over and try to match it up so that it's um, lined up well and even and straight. And then I'm going to bone folder burnish. And that's going to help it stick. So you have kind of a tube, like a vinyl tube. Then what I'm going to do next, I'm going to kind of fold it in half like that, and I'm going to clean the edge end off. And I've got my hair straightener, 
and I have covered it in vellum. You can use parchment paper or I'm sure there's other materials too. So I just cut two strips of vellum um, and I created these sleeves because if you do not have parchment paper or vellum or copy paper or fabric or something in between your heat source and your vinyl, you are going to melt your vinyl onto your heat source and it's gonna be a big giant mess. All right, so what I'm gonna do is kind of fold it in the center like that. I'm going to wipe off ends and then I'm just going to eyeball it and kind of, I'm gonna do a little bit more. Just eyeball it like about an inch to three quarters of an inch and um, just hold it. Okay, now this next part, you want to put it down on a, like a, a heat resistant surface. Like this is, this is glass and then you want to press it. Um, that'll help it to seal better. I'm using a little silicone finger covery thing I got from the dollar store. I don't know. Seems to be working okay. I was just using my fingers before and it was very, very unpleasant. So I'm just going to do that and you can see it is sealed right across if you'd like you, know, you can go back in which I usually do like to do and just repeat the process I even like to flip it over on the other side just to make sure it is really sealed well and again hold it press it All right, so that looks good. Next, I am going to add some little fun things inside. So we're gonna add a couple of little rainbow charm thingies and a little gummy bear. I think that's cute. Good enough doesn't need to be super, super fancy. I'm going to, again, clean off fingerprints. And I'm going to seal it. I'm just going to hold it there for a little bit. Get this out of the way. Get my little finger thing on. Turn it over. And heat. And then push it down and whoops, press. And press. have something that looks like that, which I think is already really cute. And it does have a seam, but honestly that doesn't bother me because even, you know, there's no way of getting around it really. I mean there is, but not if you want it this shape, though I have tried um, and I still got seams, so I don't know. I guess you have to figure out what's a big deal to you and what isn't and to be perfectly honest the seam just isn't that big of a deal to me next what i'm going to do sorry there is i'm going to take my score tape this is a quarter inch wide and you could use any kind of double-sided tape you just want it to be really nice and strong I'm going to butt it right up against um, where the closure is and bring it all the way around. You'll see why in a minute. All the way around. 
do the same thing on the top. All the way around. Okay. Then what we're going to do is take our one folder and burnish. And why do we burnish, boys and girls? That's right, to get the adhesion, <laughs> to get the, the tape to adhere well. And why am I not using the red tape for this? Because that stuff is expensive. Score tape is too, but that stuff is more. I'm going to use some glitter tape. This is from Barely Art. It's like a um, Barely Art, excuse me, it's like washi tape. I'm going to remove the tape backing and throw it over there. Remove that. I'm going to take my washi tape and I'm going to line it up kind of about right there. And then go around and you want to make sure that you are getting it even. So line it up nice and straight. Okay. And I'm going to let's see have it go to there. Trim off the excess. Oh, I'm gonna trim it like right there. Then what I'm going to do, and this might be overkill, but I'm actually going to peel it off, peel it back, and I'm going to take my score tape and place a bit of tape right along the bottom of my washi tape. Just like that. Peel it off. Choop. And get it nice and lined up. And the reason I'm doing that is to make sure that it doesn't come unstuck. Because that's not good. Okay, then we're going to do the other side. Excuse me. Um, we're going to peel this part off. Sorry, I keep shaking the camera. Uh, we're going to peel this, peel it off, and then we're going to take our washi tape and again put it right against that score tape. Go all the way around. Line it up easily. Or not, line it up nice and straight. trimmed and I am going to pull my washi tape back and add some score tape and it's not that this washi tape isn't sticky this is actually pretty pretty sticky washi tape but over time things can become less sticky and I don't want that to happen so just gonna burnish it with my fingers then peel off the backing Oop. and shake the camera <laughs> line it up as even as you can like so and then we're gonna burnish our washi tape and that's it that's all you do you're done. Kidding. You're not done. You wish. Um, so this is much, much easier if you have pinking shears. If you do not have pinking shears, you can just, you know, cut off that excess vinyl and just have the solid strip of washi tape. You can um, use an X-Acto knife to cut little zigzag 
things. You, you can use decorative scissors. You can do whatever you want. I'm going to use pinking shears. And I'm going to try... So you see the edge? So I don't want to go too far down on this because I don't want to cut um, the vinyl seal open. So I'm just going to... If you can see how I have the edge of my scissors right against the edge of the washi tape. I'm just going to follow that and go really slowly. Reopen my scissors. Just nice and slow. Taking the time. And cut. Okay, so there we are. We're going to repeat it on this end. Line up here ginormous pinking shears and snip okay so there we go see how it has like the little uh, zigzaggies super cute love it and then we're gonna just take these and choop. okay next I'm using my crocodile. We're gonna use the 3 16 inch side to punch a hole. And when I make these, I like to have the seam. Do you see that seam? I like to have that be um, near the, the hole that I punch. So I'm just going to slide this in. And it's okay if you get into the vinyl a bit. Whoops shaking my camera and you have a little hole. I'm going to take an eyelet, just a regular silver one. And I'm going to place it in the hole. Grab my crocodile, line it up and squeeze. There we go. It's pretty good. I think it's super cute. What do you think? It's really pretty. I like when it has less stuff in it. It's just, I don't know. More is less. Or <laughs> less is more. I'm going to take my keychain. This is silver and it has like one of those, um, like, twisting parts to it. I get a jump ring. Don't know what size these are. Don't know what gauge they are. They're just jump rings. And they're silver. And that one just rolled away. <laughs> there we go. That one almost rolled away. I'm going to take my jewelry pliers. I have another one somewhere, but I don't know where it is. Um, but this is light enough where I can just kind of open it up with my hand and I'm going to sloop it through there. It's an official jewelry making term, slooping, and sloop it through there and then I'm going to shoop and close it up. So. That is my candy bag, keychain, in-depth and super professional YouTube content creator um, tutorial. <laughs> I hope you have a great day and I hope this helps. Um, I will try to make a video soon showing you how you can put water in them because I think that's pretty cool. And not only that, you can make one that's a lava lamp. This one is awesome. Look at that. Alright, take care guys. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.